In this chapter, we're going to be working on one big project, but we're also going to be learning a lot along the way. What we're going to be doing is controlling visual properties using audio amplitude, or in other words, audio volume. In this audio project intro, After Effects project, you'll find in the chapter 19 folder, I've created basically some animated logo stuff, a little rock and roll logo, and I have some rock music playing. Thing is, they don't interact. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. There's some cool spinning stars and the whole logo spins and the wings are flapping a little bit, blah, blah, blah. But really, I want this logo to interact more with the audio. And I don't want to take the time to manually keyframe every property in sync with the audio. So what we're going to do in this project is control properties like scale and rotation based on the audio amplitude, or in other words, the volume of the audio track. And the best part about it is that we're going to have After Effects do it all for us automatically. I'm going to go over to the audio project final composition and look at what our final result is going to be after we build our project in this chapter. As you can see, the scale and rotation are being driven or controlled by the volume of the audio. Now, even if this type of art or music is not your thing, I still invite you to go along with us in this chapter. We're going to be learning a lot about the way After Effects works. We're also going to be getting some great practice at expressions, and we'll be looking at how to modify those expressions as well. So now let's jump into the next movie and get started on this project by looking at how to create keyframes based on audio amplitude.